Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the Zuru Mini Brands Create Blend Capsules. I have three of these to open up with you guys today. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Master Chef series. This is what we're working with. Create mini Master Chef dishes. And it looks like this is one of the different dishes. One of a few. It doesn't say how many you can collect. Well, anyway, one of the different dishes that you can collect. It's like a strawberry... Um, shortcake type deal there but it's gonna be so cool it's basically like a, a resin or I don't know if it's resin but it's a craft project I need to get this open and check it out further and read about it and see the checklist so let's go ahead and get this first layer off I love the orange color <laughs> for the second layer but in typical mini brands fashion it is double layer plastic and then it has the white capsule underneath and we'll see, it probably has a bunch of like paper blind bags inside, I would think. Yep. It's actually quite heavy, honestly. All right. Let's see what we have to work with. This popped out right away. It is a little mini chef hat. It's a light, I guess. Oh, okay. So it's like the little UV light. Okay, that's cool that you can get one of those. I quite like that. I love the detail in this hat. It's just like a... It's basically a solid plastic thing. It's like a flashlight, you know, obviously. But I love the detail in the, the hat here. Just look at that. It's amazing. All right. So here are all of our things. I'm really hoping there's a checklist in here somewhere. This one's kind of flat. So maybe, maybe we got, I think, yep, this is a checklist for sure. But it's also something else. There's a cardboard piece in here. Maybe that's just a something for fun. Okay. So we have this. I guess it's just like a little placemat thing. And we have the checklist and we have the instructions. So it looks like um, there's two hours of battery life in our little chef hat. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Mini brands create. Now, what, what do we got here? There's 11 iconic minis to collect. Which way should we start? Okay, let's just go this way. All right, so these, what's happening here? I guess, is this just, no, wait, oh, these are the instructions for the one we got. I see, I see, I see, okay, hold on. <laughs> so this is the front of the list. These are all the ones we can get. Let's see what else we have. So lots of like savory dishes here. Oh, there's a vegan chocolate mousse. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. Um, let's see, strawberry cake. And then there's a super rare apple pie. Now the one I want the most is definitely going to be the vegan chocolate mousse for sure. So represent vegans. Uh, but 11 to collect. And then on the back, instead of there, like some other brands that shall not be named, <laughs> there's not all the recipe cards on the back. It's just the one recipe card of the one that you get inside. So it looks like we got the fruit tarts. Are they the fruit tarts? What were they? They're tarts of some sort. Summer fruit tarts. Okay, so let's let's give this a shot here. We gotta open everything up and see how this goes. <laughs> all right, we've got all of our supplies. We've got tart bases. They're in these little boxes. So we'll go ahead and pop that open. Looks like we've got two of them. And they look amazing. Look at the detail. Love it, it's so good. And we have the little display tray. We have a little spatula and we have a fork. And then we have, what is in here? Lots of stuff. Okay, hold on. Oh gosh, I lost something. I lost something, I'm gonna have to go look for it. We've got tongs. We've got fruit. So there's strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and kiwi. We've got the top of something. Maybe, oh, <laughs> I'm dropping things. I found this that I dropped. So it's like a little, tabletop display thing. And we have one more bag. This one's very large, whatever it is. Oh, it's our, our stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, these are big bottles. <laughs> so we have the syrup and we have whipped cream. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. I guess, I'm gonna just like kind of, should I set them on the other sides? I don't know, we're gonna follow instructions here. First step is apparently to fill the tarts with your whipped cream. I feel like I need to, is this a good enough shot or should I zoom in? I probably should zoom in for you guys. <laughs> I can't make any promises that this is gonna be good, but 
We shall see. Honestly, I don't even know if it's focusing on on our tarts. I don't think it is. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Maybe it's too zoomed. Let's go back out a little bit. All right. So let's get the whipped cream. We need to fill, ooh, look at that. I like this, this nozzle is so cool. Oh, I love that. That's actually really great. That's really cool how we'll be able to, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to, but we can technically have like a little print in our whipped cream design. That's super cool. All right, let me put the little nozzle back on. Ah. All right, so it wants us to kind of like swirl it. Okay, also it's not really going on. All right, yeah, it wants us to swirl it, like just do a thing, but I kind of want to just play with it a little and do like, oh, I'm not even showing you guys. Sorry, my bad. But like you could see, look at that. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, so that's like my just try it decor, but it wants us to do like this. Right, oh, oh well. I messed up, I didn't go all the way to the side, but when we get the berries, it'll probably uh, push it down. So next step is to, in fact, put the berries on. I think I'm going to ch change it up from the, the recipe. And we're going to go for like berry, strawberry kiwi and raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, dark berries. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I don't, I don't love the way it's going so far. Also, is this, I don't know if this whipped cream is like resin or what it is really. <laughs> I don't know. It, I guess it's just a really interesting texture. I love it. It's awesome. All right. Uh, let's go for another raspberry. No, maybe I should have did the blueberry in the middle. I can still change it. It's fine. All right, blueberry in the middle, and then we'll do a blackberry on the side here, like that. So it's, it's okay. This one, again, I didn't really swirl all that well, and I'm just gonna push them down to kinda help push that whipped cream around. It actually, oh, it's not focused, but it looks good. All right, and then I'm gonna do a strawberry kiwi uh, type situation. <laughs> We do have this like sprig of something I'm gonna put in the middle, I guess, of this one. And if I can get this last strawberry, that would be fantastic. Let's see if I can get it in here. Like right there-ish. Looks good. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but it'll work. <laughs> I really want to get the kiwis in here. But there's, oh, oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Oh no, I just lost, oh gosh. Things are not going well. I should have put something down. All right, well, I'm gonna put a kiwi in there. And then we're gonna put a kiwi on the other side as well. So let's do that. Perfect, great. Very interesting. Don't know how I feel about that. It was my first try, it was my first try. I love the whipped cream though, it's really awesome. Okay have some berries left I'll just set those off to the side the next step is to put the syrup on it which I've never like actually heard of syrup on fruit tarts but maybe that's a thing <laughs> I don't eat or make many fruit tart fruit tarts so I wouldn't really know I feel like this is such a large opening oh it's like a jam texture oh okay that's interesting okay I thought it'd be a little bit more like maple syrup texture Okay, let me get this nozzle on here. I think I might go get a, a paper towel to work on too because I'm going to make a mess. Okay, so now apparently I drizzle this on. I do not know how this is going to go. Oh. 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 Okay, all right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I don't love it. <laughs> I feel like it made it look a little weird. It, it's great, it looks great. I just don't love the way I did it. I kind of liked it a lot better before it it did its thing. Like it, it covered up my berry tarts. But anyway, now we're supposed to take our light and cure it 
So I'm guessing this whipped cream is in fact resin. I just, that's, it's crazy to me. That texture is amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna let this cure and then we will come back and do the next one. I like the kiwi one a little bit better. I mean, this goes well, I guess. I might've just put too much syrup on it. It's fine, it's fine. I just need another round two. <laughs> I need a duplicate of that one. <laughs> Anyway, let's see. Actually, I hope we don't get a duplicate in this episode specifically in this in this video because I want to see as many different ones as we possibly can, but hopefully in the future I'll get a duplicate of it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> All right, let's see what this second one is. I will try not to look at the checklist first this time. Oh, I'm just throwing things on top of my creations. Hold on. We got to we got to reposition the tarts because it's in our workspace i did get a paper towel that we can work on um so i don't make a huge mess so we do have the chef's hat again i'm gonna use the same chef hat so that we use that battery on that one and keep savor the other battery all right so let's see the ingredients we're getting in this one so we've got some shoe pastry okay some pat shoe and we've got some strawberries and mint leaves and a spoon. Then this is going to be our checklist. So we don't need that right this second. We've got, um, okay, we've got a few things. We've got almond slices. We've got the same like stand thing. So that's cool that we have a stand for everyone. We've got a display bowl and tongs. Um, this might be our resin. Yep. We've got cream. Okay. And then we have chocolate sauce. So they both come with nozzles. They look like they're the same nozzles. I might utilize the other whipped cream. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at the checklist and see what the instructions tell me to do. Obviously, they're not going to tell me to use the other whipped cream. But if the cream looks like the other whipped cream on the instructions, I'm just going to use the other whipped cream. Okay, where are we? There we go, there's our little, our shoe. Um, yeah, it definitely looks like it's, it looks like it's a textured thing, but this, this nozzle doesn't seem like it's textured. It doesn't have that star tip. But anyway, this is what, oh wait, the cream we poured on top after? Oh, maybe the shoes already come with that. Let's, let's check this out. Oh yeah, they're already, I thought I was gonna have to make the sandwiches. Okay, so they're already put together. I just need to put the cream on top and then decorate it with berries and all of that and chocolate sauce. Okay, I see what's happening. So let's start off by putting our shoe pastry in our bowl. Is there, well there were six, five, maybe not, was that right? Am I missing any? No, that's right, that's right. So it looks really good as is. I hate to even put cream on it, honestly. <laughs> um, we also need to remember I have almond slices. This is just such a small bag. All right, let's, let's open that up. Oh, they're so cute. And then I'll open up the strawberry as well. All right, cool. So now we're gonna open up this cream. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be more of like a, a thin, Texture, I cannot get this this lid off. Uh, we might be using the whipped cream instead. What the, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, all right. Can't get this now. <laughs> Come on. Um, okay, hold on, let me open the chocolate sauce. It might be a little easier for me right now. There we go, oh, I just got it all over me. It's fine. Set it that off to the side. And then, where's the nozzle? This would be this nozzle, I believe. All right, so we have the chocolate sauce ready to go. I can't quite get this tear strip off. Um, I can cut it. I think I'll just cut it. I do that sometimes, it helps. All right, and then I gotta make sure to cut my scissors, or cut my scissors, <laughs> not cut my scissors, um, adjust or clean my scissors later. All right, so we have the cream. Hopefully this works. All right, here we go. I'm scared. It was coming out <laughs> a second ago. It's like there's nothing, it seems like there's nothing in there. Where is it? Oh, darn it. It's fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, no, no. Come off, off to this side. <laughs> I need it to spread. All right, there we go. We got some, some got some cream on it now. And we have some bubbles in there that I kind of want to get rid of before we cure this. I might let it set a little bit. Well, I'm going to put some in the base here so that it has a little something to stick on. Although I think we're supposed to put the strawberries and stuff on last or after we cure it again. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, let me pull out my instructions here. So yeah, we put the strawberries on now and then we top it off with the chocolate. Okay. So let me get, we have a whole strawberry. Do I, should I put the whole straw? I'll just put the whole strawberry like in here. Yes, like that. Perfect. And then we have some half strawberries, which can go probably like on there. Like that. And I don't know. I feel like I need to do it the opposite side or something. That's fine, right? <laughs> And now I'm supposed to cure it a little bit anyway. It looks pretty good. And then we'll come back, do the chocolate sauce, the almonds, and the mint sprig. And then it should all be finished. This is crazy. I'm, I'm creating things. <laughs> I kind of, I low-key want to use that whipped cream though. I might do it. I might do it. The, the, sorry, the whipped cream with the nozzle. I'm just obsessed with that. And I don't, I want to use it. Okay. I'm gonna come back in here now with the um oh no chocolate sauce sorry chocolate sauce okay I gotta be careful Ooh. let me see what I can get done here oh yes I like it well not really actually I don't like it anymore <laughs> I did I did too much I think it's fine I'm gonna put some more chocolate here kind of connect those weird chocolate lines that I made. It might be a little too much chocolate, but it's it's fine, it's fine. And then I can put this sprig of mint on here, I guess. And we also wanna do the almonds. So these are the almonds. They're just little, like they low key look like sesame seeds. And I'll just sprinkle those on top there, like so. This one's a little close, but. I think I have some more in here. There's a few more. There we go. Look at that. Wonderful. I'm going to cure this just quickly. I'm not going to fully cure it. And I really, really want to come back with a whipped cream <laughs> nozzle. I'm going to do it. It's just going to, I'll show you. I have a plan. I think it's really going to make it look good. I think it's going to make it pop. I don't know if this would be in a normal shoe pastry dish, but are you ready? Oh, never mind. It didn't go as I had hoped. <laughs> never mind. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more dollopy. Like that one's better. Like that's actually not bad. I think it actually really made it look better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish curing this and then we'll be back with the last one. <laughs> All right, here's the finished look. I actually quite like the whipped cream dollops. They've grown on me. <laughs> All right, this is our last one. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. I really would like to see a savory dish. That would be really cool because we've gotten all sweet so far. But any new one will do. I will take any of those. Here we go. Last layer. Oh, goodness. Hold on. There we go. And pop. Let's go ahead and spill all of this out. So of course we have the light and I'm going to save that. And then this is the checklist. So let's open up the ingredients. We've got the resin first. This is Greek yogurt. So it looks like we might have a sweet one on our hands again. Chocolate sprinkles. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm fine with that. We have a nice sweet theme going on. And we have mango and pineapple. I don't even know what this is. And then we have, what does that even say? Cake mint, cake and mint leaves. So there's a little cake pieces, okay? I don't really know where this is going. And then of course we have our accessories. So, oh, it must be some kind of like mousse dessert type thing. Um, we have our stand. And then of course, 
our instructions are in here. Oh, goodness. Okay, we have the, what is this one? This is the Tropical Fruit Parfait. Okay, so first we're gonna put in the cakes and the pineapple, then we put in some of the Greek yogurt, cure it, do more Greek yogurt and do more toppings. So for this, I kind of know what I'm doing. I kind of. Well, not really, but kind of. <laughs> I actually might utilize our whipped cream again, too. <laughs> I'm getting too excited for the whipped cream. All right. So here is our yogurt. It has the consistency of that cream we just used for the shoe. Uh, let's go for the cake here. I love these little cake squares. Cake triangles, whatever. Um don't know how this opens honestly okay wait I think I see it let me use my my tool here here we go okay so we have the cake pieces we have the mint everything has come with mint so far <laughs> but I do love the cake pieces they're really cute and textured and then here's the mango and pineapple love us some fruit Okay, and then of course chocolate sprinkles. This thing is not full. I'm actually really surprised. Like there, it's really skimpy in there, you know? <laughs> okay, so it told us to put a majority of the cake pieces on the bottom, which we, we can very much do. I kind of, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and put all, should we put all of them on there? I don't know, that's not confirmed. I put it away because I was like, oh, we'll just put all of them on there. Um, yeah, it does say to put all four on the bottom. I kind of want them to be sitting all different like that and then it does tell us to put a couple pieces of fruit so I'll go ahead and we want to definitely put these on the sides so that's something to think about is putting them quite literally on the sides so that you can see them uh, you don't want to put I mean you can put them in the middle there's nothing wrong with that but in my experience if you want to see it you're gonna want to put it on the sides. All right, uh, we have two of those in the same spot. I kind of want one over here. Scoot that over, okay. This is what we want. I know you can't really see it, but we're gonna put some of the cream in the middle here. Okay, honestly, I kind of want to just top it with whipped cream. Like we use all of this now and cure it and then top it with whipped cream. I think that would be good. That way I can utilize all my whipped cream. And I kind of want to let this set as well. Uh, so it goes down to the bottom. But it doesn't need to. Uh, we can just, you know, do whatever. It tells us to fill it two-thirds of the way. And then cure it. I can't decide if I want it to set. Oops. Oh, gosh. I just missed the whole. <laughs> made a big mess. It's fine. That's why I put down a napkin. We're good. Paper towel. Really saved our butts there. <laughs> I just gotta make sure it doesn't seep through the paper towel. Okay, um, it's slowly dripping out now. I kind of think I'm gonna put the cap on. This is not the cap, that's not the cap. That was the sprinkles cap. I'm gonna put the cap on. Oh, what the heck? The cap just launched. Well, I don't have a cap now, so. <laughs> Set that off to the side for a second. And I'm going to flip this just so it doesn't leak everywhere um actually hold on we're having um a slight problem i'm gonna actually put this here because i don't want to get that all over me all right we do have a little bit of a leak on the side here i'm gonna actually clean that up and this is what we're looking at so i could cure it right now but then it's not gonna seep down to the bottom but I'm thinking we should anyway, just, just to make it look nice. And then we could do the whipped cream, like I had said earlier. Oop. Okay, so we have the whipped cream and we have the sprinkles and everything. I really do think it'll be good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly cure this, lightly. And then we'll do, I think, whipped cream instead of more of the yogurt because the yogurt does not look like yogurt at all to me. <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of does. It's kind of like a translucent -y vibe, but also I think it needs some texture. So I'm definitely going to go in with this whipped cream. And we could put some of the chocolate sauce on it as well. That might be fun. 
or the syrup. There's the syrup that we use for the berries. Now I'm over here just trying to make like a home recipe, but honestly, the syrup might be really good to do because it's like tropical fruit and the syrup's like a red color, so it would look really good with the tropical fruit. Anyway, it looks like we're cured, um, lightly cured. And we'll go ahead and do, should I do, I'll do a swirl. I just don't know if there's enough whipped cream in here to do a whole swirl. So we'll definitely at least take it out to the sides here. All right, yeah, we're definitely, I think we're running low. I use this a lot on all of our creations. But hey, at least we got a little, little texture going on. Now, let's see if I can get it. I'm not gonna, oh. Maybe I keep that, ooh, 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 I like that, I like that, right? And then we go in with the sprig of mint. We'll do that like here, yes. And then we'll do a pineapple here. I should have kept that cute little dollop topping. But that's cute, right? I like that. And I don't know, do we do the syrup or should we just go with this? I feel like we should just go with this. All right, let's just cure this as is. And I don't know, I, I kind of want to do the chocolate flakes, but also I could do the syrup. I think I'm gonna leave it as is and not do the chocolate sprinkles. Oh, <laughs> messed it up, oh gosh. I also don't know if the whipped cream like actually cures with this or if this is like an air dry situation. Not 100% clear, but let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll take a look at it. Surprise, here is the finished look. I actually, it was, I think, I really think it's an air dry situation with this because it was not curing with the light. So I just pulled them out and I redid it and I just did a big air dollop in the center with the pointy top. I love this a lot more. All right, you guys, here are our mini brands create master chef creations. Let me know your top favorite of these three in the comments down below. I think the shoe dessert is my favorite one so far, but let me know what you think in the comments. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.